All right, well, this is a web accessibility tool for ADA, Section 508, and SEO. It's a big, huge name. Um, but basically, it has to do with web accessibility. We're huge proponents on making the web accessible to the 250 million people that can't, they can't have it, they can't access it. All right, well, so we created a plugin, and it's on the repository. Um, the easiest thing you can do for, for your site to make it accessible is the alt text on your pictures. Every picture has like what's called an alternative text, and this is what the screen reader reads. This is how it describes that picture or button or logo to the individual using a screen reader. This is the easiest and, and thing to do, and it's the largest impact. Um, so what we did is we made a plug and easily search for your media library for all your images. It uh, brings all your images up. Add alt text to all your images. Add captions to your images. Um, and you can also add descriptions to your images. This is what it looks like here. You can uh, uh, see here we got caption, your alt text. This is the big one for accessibility and description. Google likes, likes using the description. That's kind of how you describe your photo to Google. Google doesn't know what your photo is. It just knows it's a photo. So you can put good SEO keywords in here, make it accurate, because that's ultimately the best SEO, but, but that's good. Um, and then you have your alternative, uh, your alt text, all down here. Makes it nice and easy for you to get, it, to get all, your, all, all your pictures in one spot. Allows you to quickly find your images, missing all your alt text, update the alt text of your images, and you can uh, update all the alt text on your pages or posts too. That's a big thing. You can go to your media, media file and pull up all your images, and you can change the alt text there, but that doesn't fix your image that's already on the front of your website. So you really got to do the work twice if you're remediating your website. And what this plugin does is, is it not only allows you to change it in, in the media, it also recalls all your pictures that are on your page pages and posts already, which is a big, big time saver. What, what did you just go over? A, a plugin that does it? Yes. What is it? It's ADA section, it's back it up. Web right. accessibility tool for ADA section 508 and SEO. Oh, that's the name? I thought that's the yeah. name of your talk here. <laughs> I, know. I know, it's a long name. If you just go to a repository and hit web accessibility, we're, we're like number four or something, number four or five. Um, and this is this is how it looks from your posts and pages. Now, the only thing you can do on your posts and pages is, is add uh, your alt text. It doesn't allow you to add a description or caption, but the alt text is what you're focused on with this plugin anyways, about uh, accessibility. And it just simply allows you, it pulls up every picture of your page, tells you how many images you have, how many images are missing your alt text, and then it pulls them up and lets you go in there and add them. And then you can just, uh, Hit update and you're good to go. Just that easy. I mean, it's yes. What kind of alt tags? I've seen some elaborate ones. Mm -hmm. You know, name the photographer. We credit to the photographer. You describe the photo. You, you know, I'm just asking how right. how in depth do you go? How in depth should we go how with the alt tags? How in depth do you go with alt right. tags? We try to go. We try to stick to one good descriptive sentence, two if you have to. But you can pretty much get it, get in a good descriptive sentence. Well, give us an example. Okay, well, we had a picture, uh, I don't know if it's on here, with a photo of my old broken handheld GPS unit gun. I put the word garment in there because that's kind of was the SEO as I'm trying to, was one of the SEO words I was trying to rank for, but it's still the truth. And, um, and that when, so when a screen reader is going, reading that to a person who's blind, that's what's going to read. This photo is a photo of my old broken handheld GPS unit, a Garmin. Hmm. I was you know? going to say, kind of paint a picture if you can, because obviously they can't see the photo. Uh, I always start mine with photo of there you go. blah, blah, blah. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's good. But I don't. Well, the screen reader goes picture, and then. That's awful. And then reads it. It'll say picture or photo of. And then it'll read the alt text. Dog jumping over a fence. Yeah. Right. Brown dog. And you can really make a, a big difference too. I mean, because that's actually one of the examples I've seen um, with accessibility is a dog, you know, 
different way to describe it. A picture of a dog laying there with a ball. You know, you just say a dog with a ball, or you say a dog laying in a meadow field, playing with his owner, playing with the ball with his owner. One nice, good descriptive sentence, and you've really painted a picture of that picture, as opposed to a dog with a ball. Yeah, you're compliant, but you know, it's you're not about really helping people. Yeah. You're, you're doing something, but not a click. Oh, that was it. All right, so, um, this plugin also has a color contrast checker, um, so you can check the contrast ratio of your text to the back, to the background. Um, you can check the contrast ratio of your link text, and you can check the contrast ratio of your logos, icons, and buttons. Make sure they're WCAG compliant. This is what it looks like for a contrast checker. Um, this is my favorite part of the, of the plugin. I just because I think it works. Um, but uh, it's it's very helpful if you're if you're doing any kind of uh, remediation on a website that needs a, you're trying to make it ADA compliant. So contrast is a big one. That's, yeah, that's like the check. second easiest and other than know. alt text, it probably it's like the, the next easiest thing. And I, would, I would agree yeah. with that. Okay. Um, then this is I think Joe's favorite part of the plugin. Uh, we have an accessibility checklist on the. On the plugin, uh, it's a simple checklist. Um, helps you become WCAG compliant, obviously, um, and just check the items as you complete them, and you can save it for future use. So what it is, it looks like this on the back end in your admin area, and you can just go click, 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 write that. Yeah, I did that. Yes, I did that. Yes, I did that. It's just a checklist. That's really. There's a link at the bottom too that that sends you right to the WC3 site that give the actual 1.1.1, 1.2.2. .2. This is just kind of a, an explanation because it takes, I try to take that government technical talk and make it simple. And if you can go through and check every single one of these, you can sleep soundly at night knowing you're accessible. Um, the, um, and you know this is big, we've talked about it in some of our other talks. Right now, a lot of people are getting sued because their websites are not compliant. So if you are a developer and you're making websites for anybody else, or if you've got your own site, you're getting any kind of traffic, you better be in compliance. Because if you're not, uh, there's a chance you're gonna get you're gonna get And Florida it. and New York are the two largest states that have, or the two states that have the most uh, lawsuits by far. It's New York first, Florida second. And in 2016, it was like 50 lawsuits in 2000 and 17, it was, uh, I think, 250, 500, 18. Last year, it was well over 1,000. I mean, they're, they're going by multiples. Uh, it's crazy. And, they're, and the lawsuits are being filed under the Title III, which says, just like any other brick and mortar, that every person, even person with a disability, has to have the same ability and usability and function of your business that anybody else would. That's where people are getting sued, is with Title III. So if you can just keep that in mind, you're doing pretty well. You're doing good. And uh, I would say, personally, you know, I, I just, I think that we need to make them compliant for blind users. I've known, I know some blind folks, some low vision users, and after going to the uh, National Federation for the Blind Convention, I've seen how difficult it is for these people to surf the internet what we take for granted, you know, make your sites compliant. That's what I say. Uh, one side at a time. Uh, one thing I will say about this plugin, uh, it's free and it'll always be free. We're not trying to sell anything on the plugin at all and we won't. Yep. Um, free. And that's it. Uh, we say one website at a time because guys like us are the ones who are going to make a difference. If you make your sites compliant, just one site at a time, you're really making a big difference for people. So yeah, I think WordPress great. puts out, they said like two million new posts a week or something, some ridiculous number. We were on a third of the internet. So as we're going, if we just do simple things, we can make a big difference. That's it, you at wordpress.org. Plugins, tool for ADA, section five way, and SEO. Well, that what happened if that can want uh, Google rankings? If yes. I believe so. I don't think they're doing it yet, but I believe so, absolutely. I think it does. You know. It seems pretty simple. I, I mean, I just downloaded it and it popped all my uh, uh, Problems? Uh, no, not the uh, uh, text and the description popped in when I already had. 
Okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah, on the first one for your media, yeah, it'll pull up all, you can have it set to all pictures. Um, you can also have, there should be buttons up top that says, uh, you click on like alt text and it'll pull up ones just missing just the alt text. Okay. Or caption, it'll pull up text, pictures that are just missing the caption so you don't have to wade through all that. Well, what, if, okay. what if I don't want a caption? You don't have to add it. You don't have to add it. The, the law says alt text. Yeah. The law it's says alt text. Yeah. Description is good for Google. Alt text is good for the user. And caption is just... I just do alt text and description. Useless. Yeah, that's all we pretty much do as well. So, cool. So, so in this case here, when I seen some, uh, a couple of my descriptions, I just see, you know, on a, some of them I just have the search engine word. So mm -hmm. I need to go in and, and, and uh, revise that so it can read off exactly what it Right, is. right. Yeah. And Google doesn't look at the alt text for, they look at the description for, for a description of the picture. Okay. That's, that's where you want to SEO. Just do the description. Is the SEO yeah, for the SEO? The alt tag is, is where you want to really honestly. If you make it like that sentence I showed with the handheld GPS, the keyword I was going for actually was handheld GPS unit, so it was an accurate description. And I just copy pasted that and put it in the description. So that same thing was my alt tag and my description because it described the picture and it kind of in an SEO type of way. Uh, so that's that's how I recommend doing it. Cool. We got any questions or anything? Uh, no? Okay. I mean, I, it's just like it on newspapers when um, online it's loading slowly, you can see their alt tags. You know, yeah. they show the blank. Really elaborate alt tags where they're giving credit to the photographer and describing the photo, you know, the bottom. Really? It's like, this would be a whole job. You know? Yeah, right. The best way to do it is as you're loading pictures, just give it yeah. right then and there. As you're building the site, as you're adding pictures, then you don't have to worry about it. All right. You know, because I can almost go to every single site and find missing alt tags. Like, everybody's susceptible to getting a lawsuit and everybody's falling, failing, including us. You know, uh, you can go to almost any website and find, and find it. Yeah, this is gonna be a big thing this year the coming years is all the lawsuits that are going to start happening. You know, it's been like this, this, this wild west frontier on the, with the internet. And everybody's throwing up billions of websites, but now the government's finally starting to catch up. I mean, it seems like they would have done this a long time ago, but they're catching up, and they're they're making rules and they're making it harder and harder to be compliant. There's great reasons for why they're doing that, um, and it's it, it's reasons. about time that they did, <laughs> frankly. But it's going to cost people money. This this costs money, or you're going to have to put in the work, and there's a lot of work. Another thing is, uh, I, you said there's like really elaborate alt tags you, you see on some websites. Like let's just say the Washington Post. Okay. You know an official. Yeah. Ma main media, major media outlet. I think you could probably overdo it on the alt tags because they have to. If, if I'm a blind user, I have to sit there and I have to listen to everything. Now, of course. Um, Blind users, they when they they use their um, screen readers, they have them, they speed them up, so they they talk really fast, like a like an auction, like somebody doing an auction, because they can hear way better than we can, obviously, and they don't have all day, but they have to they have to listen to it. So if you go too far with the alt tags, that's still extra stuff they have to listen to that might not help the user experience. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so, gonna make it worse, yeah. Like, just yeah. a bunch of useless information. So I think with what? alt tags, think if you're think as, as if you're a low vision person using a screen reader, you know, you have to hear the website, think like that, and you can't go wrong. That's what I think. You know, what would I want to they're do? probably keyword stuff in the description and then just transferring that over to the alt tags. Possible. You know, well, I, I you know, they're mentioning the photographer though, so right. okay, yeah, credits. yeah, that's probably where they put all their credits and stuff. I don't know why they were doing the alt tag, but I know. You know. Maybe the photographer would Sue them right. if they didn't get credit. I'm not sure. But they'll get it because it'll read it if they have credit somewhere other than the alt tag. You know, if it's in the, like a caption, like we we're talking about, I would think that would be where you would credit a photographer would be in the caption. That's where the majority of people would see your cr accreditation. You know, yeah. your credit given. Or at the bottom of the article, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. Right. One more question: mm -hmm. the pages that there's not uh, SEO. Still need to be alt tags in the description. Yes. Yeah. If it's live, if it's 
forward facing on the front end of your side, if it's accessible, then it needs all tags. That's something I have to do. In fact, yeah. the back end of your website should be, um, also should be compliant if you have anybody working in your organization that is visually impaired. They have to be able to, and if they're, they have access to your, the back end of your website and there are blind developers, uh, then they have to, uh, you have to be compliant there too. Yeah, all, the, all the laws are for websites and software. They'll start with websites before they move on to the software, you know, but yeah, the law technically is for websites and software. Yeah, because some of these sites might hit a wall when it comes to whatever plugin they use that's not accessible. Oh, we run we into that. To, yeah. yeah, we tell a company you're just going to have to find a different plugin because that. Yeah, that or rewrite the whole thing. I mean, it's because it's not accessible and it's. We had a, uh, a, a client, chain of restaurants. Yeah, chain of restaurants, and they had a map uh, plugin with all their locations and everything, and the plugin was not compliant. Um, and he had set up just two websites like that, you know, and they really elaborately set them up. And uh, we told them, we're like, you're going to have to get rid of the plugin and find another way to do it. You know, maybe Google Maps or something like that. But the plugin you're using isn't working. So well, that's the cool thing about WordPress is sort of that's like there's, there's always something way. there for yeah. There's always another way. Always. It might not be as pretty, but you know what? It's in the long run, it works better. Yeah. Yeah. So. so you refuse to work? We didn't no, no, we didn't refuse. We just said that no, was I mean, one. By the P, it said for no, we're sticking with this plugin. What would you? Then well, you're, hired us. you're out of compliance. Yeah. He hired us to. I'm sorry, Joe. To, 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 he hired us to make this site compliant. It was oh. an existing site. So the whole purpose was correct. Well, yeah, that's why we were hired. Yeah, it wasn't. We didn't build the site. That we, we remediated it. It was already built, already live, and then they came in and uh, hired us to come in and fix it. And that was one of the things that we couldn't fix because it's a plugin. We're not gonna write a whole new plugin, so you just gotta be use a different plugin. And it was cool. It was like he understood, uh, and he they did it. And, you know, now their site's in compliance. We might be able to write the whole new plugin, but it's gonna fix yeah, it. Yeah, it'll, it'll be better to <laughs> just get it. Yeah, <laughs> billable hours. <Yeah. laughs> What's your budget again? Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, uh, did. Anybody got any last minute questions or anything? Any issues? So the plugins on your website for sure, right? It's in the, uh, I'm looking at your website right now and it's under uh, what's that? Um, that? This plugin is on our website, yeah. Is, where is it at on our website? It's on the web accessibility page or you can get it through uh, the WordPress repository if right. you're in your website already. Yeah, and, you can uh, download it off the back end in the admin area. Just type in the, which I'll actually put back there, but uh, through the WordPress the repository. It's, a little easier, you just hit activate instead of having to drop and drag, that's all. Yeah. Awesome. Cool, well, we, uh, I guess that's it. We're yep. Joe and Steve from St. Pete Design, and uh, we appreciate everybody coming out and muscling through our on the cuff, uh, on, on the fly, fly. fly. talk <laughs> here. <laughs>